organically indexed search terms, but only are advertising on 35 of them too. According to my Amazon guy, if you're following them, you know that ratio should be two to one. So for every two indexed organic keywords, you should have one paid. Oh, but yeah, like that's crazy, right? They should definitely be a little bit more aggressive for paid because if you're following uh, or like listening to, uh, you know, Stephen Pope, shout out to Stephen Pope, gold, bro, one of the golds, definitely Mount Rushmore when it comes to PPC and SEO, then you basically want to filter keywords that have organic position one to 30 that are relevant that we're currently not advertising on because um, at the end of the day, you know, Amazon ranks the products the highest that make them the most money, right? So if we uh, basically get more organic, like PPC sales in general, from my experience, that helps us rank for keywords. Now, oh, profitably is the attention. So now, okay, we basically uh, already have those keywords, but we want to go ahead and track this, okay? Because not, I see nobody tracking the, the SEO at the end of the day. So this said, we have one to like our intentions to put our top keywords here, also keywords here. Uh, of course, this is just an example, but you get the point. And then, so this is the tool I uh, or we do, I we the company utilize to track our SEO, okay? And I don't see any tool utilizing this at all. So um, at least not publicly, right? Maybe internally, but now we basically input our top keywords, sponsor keywords, organic and Amazon recommended. And we basically export Cerebro data set. And this sheet is basically summing the search volume for all keywords uh, where we have top 10 organic positions, top 20, top 30, and above top 30, right? And the total amount of keywords, same for PPC and even more valuable, uh, basically keywords that are indexed where we have organic position, but no PPC. Um, I get if a, that basically gives us the search volume, especially we want to focus on that segment here, top 20 words that are in the top 20 organically that have no PC rank according to you. Know, that's a low hanging fruit, right? And then same thing with uh, keywords that we're currently uh, indexing and uh, not indexing for, but basically where we get PPC sales from, we want to index for them. So we get organic sales, open, right? That's the purpose of PPC. And then after we have set all of this up, right? We have curated our list of keywords. We have vetted them for relevance. We have put them into like bottom of funnel, medium funnel, uh, you know, top of funnel. And we have like checked if we're not sure if a search is relevant. We have put that into the search bar, looked at the search bar, asked ourselves the question, okay, if I'm a customer and if I'm searching for that search up, how likely am I to buy the product? And now um, we basically go ahead and input those keywords into a, you know, into campaigns. So next, so next we basically, um, yeah, you put in your naming convention into this tool. You have your list of keywords, we input the ASIN here. We go back to the list 